Hello, today we're going to look at a method for extracting DNA from fruit. Extracting DNA from fruit. Now, the common kinds of fruit we can use for this are kiwi fruit, banana, and or strawberries. But for, for our example, we're going to use kiwi fruit. So the first step is to get our kiwi fruit, peel it to remove the skin because we won't be removing DNA from the skin, it'll be the fruit itself. We need a pestle and mortar, which looks a little bit like that. We can slice up our kiwi fruit, and then we can grind it up. This is in order to break open the cells and release the DNA that's in the cells. That's the first stage. Once we've done that, we can transfer it to a beaker. We don't have to, but in this case, I've transferred it to a beaker. And then we add some detergent. Detergent is something that's found in soap. And what that does it, is it will break down the cell membranes and the membranes around the nucleus to help release the DNA. We can also add some salt, just regular everyday salt. And what this does is it makes the DNA stick together. We can give that a good stir. Sometimes we might add protease enzymes, which helps the process of extracting the DNA as well. But in this case, we haven't used it. We give it a good stir. And the next thing is to filter it. We filter it through a sieve, and this is to remove anything that's insoluble. The insoluble material stays in the sieve, and we can, and we can get rid of that. So now we have this uh, liquid from the kiwi, we might want to tilt it slightly for the next step because what we're going to do is we're going to add some ice cold ethanol. We add it carefully down the side of the container and what that does, it makes the DNA come out of the solution. It makes the DNA precipitate, makes it into a solid. And when we've done that, you'll see that the ethanol will float on top of the kiwi and just at the boundary between the kiwi and the ethanol, that's where the DNA will precipitate. It's in the ethanol, but it's right at the boundary between the kiwi and the ethanol. It's all clumped together because of the steps we took previously. And then once we've done that, all we need to do is where it is there in that little boundary, we just take a glass rod or something similar and we can scoop it out. It looks a little bit something like that. It actually looks like wet cotton wool has the same kind of color and look as some wet cotton wool, but that's what it looks like. Remember, this is not DNA. We can't look at this under a school microscope and see all the structure in that because the structure of the DNA is way too small. But this is large clumps of DNA that you can extract from fruit, and that's the method that we use. So let's summarize all of the above. This could very well be a six mark question. Explain how DNA can be extracted from fruit. First thing is to crush or grind it. We could use the word homogenize that's to break open the cells. We add detergent to help break down the cell and nuclear membranes. We add some salt to make the DNA stick together. We add protease enzymes, or we could add protease enzymes, and what that does is it helps to remove the proteins that the DNA is wound up around. That's an extra step that you could get marks for. We then filter, usually through a sieve, to remove large insoluble parts. And then we would need to add our ice cold ethanol. So we do that carefully so it floats on the top. And the reason we do that is because it makes the DNA precipitate, in other words, come out of solution in solid form. We can then collect the DNA using a glass rod or a splint, or I've even seen a little paper clip that's been um, unfolded and made into a little hook shape to remove that DNA. So there we have it, the steps we use to extract DNA from fruit and the reasons for each of those steps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.